I came down to the river today I'm by myself here, so I'm going to do a little exploration. I already got a big, huge bag full of rocks from the driveway. Uh, Indian stone, I just I'm fascinated by it, so I keep getting it. Oh, what's that over there? Geese? Looks like geese. Like a red tail. Come closer. Most of the time it's so far away you can't film on the camera phone. So I have different birds today. Downy woodpecker, red belly woodpecker, red tail hawk, ducks. Stand fire up. Oh, he's coming a little closer. He's going across the water. Over this field to the other side. Big bird. I don't like seeing that. Let me see if I can get it off. I'll wrap around something. Stuck. Oh, let's, let's see. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Don't drop it. There we go. Ooh, almost so. Okay, put that in there too. More garbage out. Maybe a little bit helps. Uh, this stuff don't belong in there. I don't know what people are thinking. The animals get it on their, on their legs or something, like a baby duck or heron, goose, or whatever. Or even a big fish. You get around his head. <laughs> Stuck on his fins. Oh, here's a kingfisher. I got him over there somewhere. Fly by. Okay, a lot of the rocks that I find are uh, rocks that are like uh, template rocks, I guess you would call them. They would flake off a bunch of arrowheads off of like one stone. They don't have uh, uh, obsidian here. They have flake, uh, not flake, flint, excuse me, and uh, other stones. A lot of quartz stuff, micro crystallized quartz, this, yellow, this stuff here. And... Uh, this one here looks like they were working on it to make an arrowhead, actually. It's got the sharp edges on both sides. And you can see the strike marks on one side. It's flat here. And then the strike marks are on... I don't know if you can see them. You probably even got an arrow off of that right there. Arrowhead. 
this looks like they could have made a arrowhead out of it. They continued making it. Made a lot of peace pipes were smoked along this river. Kind of a cool spot right here. Everything's so overgrown, I wouldn't know where to really look. Except these open spots here. But I don't really see too much on the ground here. I'm afraid to go down there. It looks kind of kind of muddy. Probably some stuff down there though. Uh, actually, I'm gonna walk a little ways down. Not frozen. I mean, I was out in the field all summer. Guaranteed this stuff in there. Some of that stuff looks like they were whacking on it. An idiot gutted a deer up near the trail. I don't really want to see that again. There's no hunting here. I don't know where they shot the deer. I'm trying to see those things that I've seen that before, but they didn't go anywhere. Big rings. Maybe from, I don't know. I'm too, are they from a, maybe a barrel? I don't know. Pretty big though. For, let's see a wheel, but no. There's no. No spokes. Kind of blends in. Oh, jeez, pickle bush. Right. This one pretty good. Oh, wow, look at that. Bicycles hanging. That's pretty neat. Look at that. Look like little jewels hanging there. Or big jewels, actually. Ice jewelry. That's neat. This tree is huge there near the river. It's probably still standing. It's gotta be uh, hundreds of years old, or at least a hundred plus, hundred plus. It's a big metal thing. I've seen it before down there. I've probably shown it on one of my videos, but it's really old. Some kind of like drum thing that's well bolted. Maybe some type of old farm equipment or, I don't know, kind of looks like it's old cement mixer, but it's really old. Vintage stuff down there. You can just see it. I don't want to get too close, probably fall in. I'm pretty close already. You gotta come up here to see this stuff. To the edge of the river. There's stuff here to see. Cool. I hope this too though. I'm gonna walk right to him again. Uh, feel my leg. I feel like it's kind of wet, like bleeding. Kind of dumb. I don't know. I don't pay attention all the time. I have a place here that I can sit down. 
this red one here. Was a male for the female. There's the male up there. There's a couple sets of them here. Oh, they're taking off. Go closer. Another one. There's a couple spots along the river where there's a lot of Indian stone, and uh, I figured I'd come and check it out. Pottery, maybe the settlers were here after the Indians. So there's a lot of debris here from them when they took the buildings down. Let's see, let's see down here. Everything's frozen, so I got some digging tools I can dig out the whatever I find. If it's anything good. There's more ducks down here, too. Just had a black lab come down where I was doing stuff. He's a little bit rambunctious. It's supposed to be leashed here, but a lot of people don't. He's a sweet little dog, though. He'd come down and grab my stick, my hiking stick, and I'd grab it back. And he's trying to grab my bags. He just wanted attention. I petted him. He was happy after I petted him. Up to you? Yeah, that's not a mallard. by myself here today I mean my wife's not here but there's also nobody around it's like well it's cold but just dress for it and a couple of spots I want to look at there's just a lot of junk here from the settlers homes Kind of hard to dig through a lot of frozen ground, but I know where there's some stuff that's sticking right out of the ground. So I'll go check that a little bit. There is some ducks over there. I thought I saw them. Right there. Human, male and female mallards. strip of land there. Kind of cool. There's a geese walk down on that bay there. Where that split off actually. There's like an island in the middle. You know, down there. Taking off. He's scared of me. Why? Why are you scared? 
There's a lot of debris by the river from the settlers' homes, the bricks and the mortar and rocks and stuff. And beaver tree that. Beaver tree that tree there. But these spots that come down to the river are where, you know, the Indians would do their business. Catching fish. Animals, I like the geese over there. They've probably been coming here since the Indians were here for ages. I'm not going too far. You can never figure out what that foamy stuff is there. Is that pollution or is that just agitation in the water? It's gross. It's around year round. I mean, not in a real lot, but it's enough of it. It floats around. What the heck is it, you know? Up further too. It's not ice. I see it, but it's foam, river foam. I see an ocean foam for the salt and stuff. But what the heck's doing that? It's all white, yellowish white. A lot of foamy stuff right there, kind of stuck. Stuck there. Like a little design thing there going on. It's kind of like soapy, whatever, but it's not soap, that's for sure. No more factories on this river that I know of. It used to be, but I don't know where it's made. Some of it's like really dark over there, I think. Okay, I'm over at this spot here. The ground was really frozen, but found a few rocks on top there, just like tallings from whatever they were doing. But look at this. These marks on here. I'm assuming maybe they were sharpening something, or that's really old. I don't even know if anybody ever sees this stuff. But pretty wild, huh? Right by the river. Right here. Yeah, here's a bunch of stuff that just fished out right by the river. I got markings on that thing. I'm not sure what that is, but some nice stone leaves. Can't tell you right now, but I'll clean it up. It looks pretty neat. You can see the strike marks a lot better too. It kind of gives them some of the stuff gives them like facets the way they chip it. It's pretty cool or flake it. Yeah, I move on. Some of the stuff I wanted to get is really frozen, so I'll come back again when it warms up. There's a lot of stuff down here. It's very interesting. It amazes me. What the heck is that thing? Oh, I'm going to have to get that out. I've probably been there a long time, but I don't know what it is. It looks, it looks weird. Let me get it. And I got it out. Look at this thing. It's too cool. Some of it broke off on me, but let's uh, see if I can get the rest out. I think there's poison ivy there. I might have touched it. Yeah. I don't know. Hope not. I'm going to wash my hands in the river. It's cool, but let's see if I can get that other chunk out of this. It's cool. That was worth getting out of there. 
I'll wait till I clean it up. It's literally going to look all so muddy. I'm sure the Indians had their hands on this thing. Because that was their jewelry. The rocks. I mean, really nice jewelry. Oh, I was going to show this. Look at these hooks sitting here. They were just there like that. Somebody must have just forgot about them or whatever. I'm glad I didn't sit there. There's crap everywhere at all this. String here and there. I usually take it. I'll put it up here. I'll take it. The hooks too. I'm sitting there giving my finger. Actually, it would go somewhere else than my finger, I think, if I sit there. So, yeah, we'll get rid of those. 